Hello everyone, it's Morgan. Welcome back to the channel. Back here on YouTube doing my week 8 NFL predictions after week 7. I went 3 and 4 last week. Unfortunately, last night I did not do an NFL prediction recap video for week 7. I was a little too tired last night after the, the Vikings lost to the 49ers. No, the Vikings, after the Vikings beat the 49ers, actually. I did pick the 49ers to beat the Vikings. I was a little too tired after the game because I was watching the MLB postseason games. But, you know, 5 games under, so... Looking to get a pretty good record here in Week 8 this week to bounce back from a 3-4 week. 5-under, so that's the second, that's the one of, that's okay for me at 22 and 27. That being said, let's get into the Week 8 NFL predictions right now here on this Tuesday edition. So let's get started Week 8 NFL predictions right now. So the first matchup coming up, Thursday Night Football between the Buccaneers and the Bills, as this game will be up in Buffalo coming up on Thursday night football on Amazon Prime. Looking at this matchup, the Bills and the Buccaneers. Buccaneers won in first place for a while. The Bills haven't found a way to get the job done. They're right behind the Dolphins, unfortunately, in the AFC East. Looking at this matchup, I think the Bills playing at home on Thursday night football have a better shot than the Buccaneers to win this matchup. And I think the Bills actually get the win at home here on Thursday night playing against the Buccaneers, which I think will happen, which I think will improve the Bills' record. Buccaneers, unfortunately, with the loss, will drop to under 500, unfortunately, I think, after this week. So as the first matchup to take the Bills over the Buccaneers on Thursday night football to get us all started in this week's predictions. Moving on to our next matchup. We're going to Pittsburgh where the Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence go to town against the Steelers and Kenny Pickett. Another great matchup here to look into, which should be a pretty good matchup, I think, to watch this week. Steelers, I picked them last week against the Rams to get the win, and they did that last week. Jaguars, I picked them as well to get a win as well, which they did get a win as well as we look at this matchup going forward. Jaguars, I'm going to take them on the road to Trevor Lawrence and Jaguars. I'm going to take the Jags on the road this week in Pittsburgh to go to 6-2 and two and stay in first place in the AFC South to run the division and run the tables in the AFC South. Unfortunately, Steelers after winning last week against the Rams when I picked them, I think they're going to lose this week in week number 8. As we move on to our next matchup between the 6-1 and one Eagles as they go in to play the Washington Commanders on the road on Sunday. A matchup that I think will be interesting to see and on paper. A matchup I think will be interesting to see in, on paper. The Eagles coming in 6-1. They look like they're going to run the tables in this division for sure. And I really think that's going to happen this week for this Eagles team. I think they're going to go to 7-1, be the one of the teams that goes to 7-1 this week. And I think it will happen on the road. I think it will happen on the road. The Eagles will go 6-1. Jalen Hurts and the Eagles did pretty good this year. With Hurts, Swift, Goddard, and A.J. Brown. The Eagles are just a scary good team. I think as the defending AFC, defending NFC champions, I think they're going to win the NFC again this year. Might even win the Super Bowl this year. But I'm taking the Eagles on the road this week against the Washington Commanders in Washington on Sunday. Moving on to our next matchup coming up as the Atlanta Falcons, Desmond Ritter, the first place Falcons, going into Tennessee on Sunday. Where you look at this matchup, it's going to be an interesting matchup to look at and very interesting to see. The Falcons, Desmond Ritter, the Falcons, first place, while the Titans come in. Currently sitting in second or third place. I don't know how well the division is standing with me at the moment. The Falcons look like they're one of those teams this year that's going to be an interesting team to see down the road. And yeah, if you have the if you put the Falcons on, you put the Falcons into it. They they look like a good team with Desmond Ritter, second year quarterback this year, coming into it. And the Titans, unfortunately. I'll give you the records here for this matchup. Mm. If I can get it up. Hold on a minute. If you give me a minute, I'll help get that up for you all. 
Tennessee Titans come in in fourth place in this division. After losing to the Ravens on October 15th, they're coming off a bye week. As you look at as I look at it, yeah, the Tennessee Titans coming at two and four, right behind the Colts, who are in third place in this division. So yeah, I like it way up to this matchup to continue to stay in first place in the AFC, NFC South. I think the Falcons will get an easy win this week on Sunday. As we move on to the next matchup down in Miami, we got a Miami, Florida for the Dolphins. Two attack of Loa after a loss. They stay five and two in the division. And the Patriots come in at two and five, getting their second one of the year. Another matchup here to watch. Two attack of the Dolphins coming in off a win loss. And coming into this matchup, the Dolphins, their team that are surprising to me. The Dolphins are one of those teams that is a surprise team to me. At five and two after losing the Eagles on Sunday Night Football. Dolphins look like one of those teams with Tyreek Hill and what they got and quarterback into a tug of low. They look like a team that's going to continue winning in the AFC East. The only trouble, the only question I have about the Dolphins is what's going to happen when they play the Bills again this year? And will they be able to win? Overall, I think Dolphins and Bills, that matchup is going to, when they meet up again this year, that's going to be an interesting game. I think the Dolphins get the win at home this week. They go 6 and 2 on the year. As I do think they make good rebound performance after last week's loss in Philly. As we move on to the next matchup on Sunday afternoon between the 49ers coming in at 5 2 against the Bengals. Shocking to talk about this matchup because the Bengals coming in in last place in the AFC North. Joe Burrow has not been himself in this matchup. And I kind of like Joe Burrow, the Bengals. I kind of like Joe Burrow as a quarterback, as a player, watching him play. And even though he's having a tough year with injuries, I think the Bengals have to put this behind them, put the games behind them, and just go out and play football and just focus on playing football. Because if they can't do that, the Baltimore Ravens will be the team in the AFC North that wins the division. And that's what it looks like so far, unfortunately. For the 49ers on the other side, they lost to the Vikings, lost their second straight road game. As they lost 22 to 17 last night. 49ers, though, I think, going back home to play against the Bengals. I think the 49ers will get a win. Unlike today, me and my friend Kuma Joey played our Madden 23, Madden 24 franchise mode where our team is the Bengals, and the 49ers lost 31 to 6, 31 to 24. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I do think the 49ers will win. And go to 6-2 in the year, unfortunately. Sorry for the Bengals, a team I did pick to be the number one seed in the AFC this year. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen right now. So I'm taking the 49ers in this one. Move on to the next, last game of the day for the predictions this week. The first place, Baltimore Ravens, going into Arizona to play the Arizona Cardinals. Unfortunately, I don't have the Arizona Cardinals new helmet yet. I'm going to try to get one of those before the end of the year. Before the end of the year, if I do, I'm going to have more games to predict for the 40. Have more games to predict with the Arizona Cardinals in it. I'm trying to get one of their helmets, the new helmet they have. But for the Ravens on the other side in Arizona, this is a game that I know will go to the road team in the Ravens. First place Ravens, Lamar Jackson and all. This is a game I think the Ravens come into. I think they get a win easily. Arizona is one of those teams this year in the NFC West that is going to be the last place team. They want to get one of the top draft picks this offseason. And so I think the Ravens come in and get a job done this week. As the Ravens will get the win, I think, on a Sunday afternoon. As we have picked our Week 8 predictions here real quick. The week 8 prediction, Week 8 recap, who I'm picking. Starting off with Thursday Night Football in Buffalo, I'm taking the Bills. Josh Allen over the Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield in Pittsburgh. I'm picking the Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence over the Steelers and Kenny Pickett on the road. As I think the Jaguars continue their AFC South dominance. And in Washington, for the Commanders and the Eagles, I'm taking Jalen Hurts and the Eagles to get a 7-1. and one. In Tennessee, I'm taking the Falcons and Desmond Ritter over the Titans and Ryan Tannehill. In Miami, I'm taking the Dolphins and Tua Tagovailoa over the Patriots. 
Mac Jones. And in San Francisco, I'm taking the 49ers and Brock Purdy over to Bengals, as I think the 49ers snapped a few-game losing streak. And in Arizona, I'm taking the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson over to Arizona Cardinals this week for the Week 8 NFL Predictions. If you liked today's video, please comment below who your favorite NFL team is playing and if you think they're going to win this week. And also, please comment below if you liked today's video. Please remember to watch, like, subscribe, and don't forget to tell your friends to do the same if they have not done so already. And also, don't forget to hit that notification button below so you know when I upload a new video here on the channel. That being said, have a nice day, stay safe, and I'll see you right here next week for the Week 9 NFL Prediction videos. Yes, wait, week nine next week. The halfway point of the season. Nine weeks. After after next after week nine, we'll be halfway done. So I'll see you next week in the week nine prediction videos right back here on Tuesday. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Peace out. And bye for now, everyone. And I'll see you next time.